Hey guys, it's Justin Martinez from Compass. Today I'm in the office and we just signed a new listing. Most sellers think agents just show, but there's actually about a 50 step process to get your home ready to go on the market. And I'm gonna show you guys what we do. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good, good, good. So Kendall's the lead agent uh, on this listing. So Kendall, what are your roles? as being a lead agent? Absolutely, I have a lot of roles being the lead agent. Uh, one of them would be uh, showings. I handle all the showings directly to the unit. I'm also in charge of running um, comps for the home itself, seeing where other homes are priced at in the area, making sure that we are priced correctly for the market and not missing anything or anything else. I'm also in charge of working with direct buyers, scheduling appointments, and also scheduling appointments with other agents as well to make sure that we're always hands on deck and we're not missing anything at all. Mm -hmm. So our first step, we're gonna add our client profile to a new folder in Business Tracker. Business Tracker for us is a project management software within Compass backend. So you folks that don't know, uh, Compass has spent over a billion dollars on technology. Mm -hmm. So some of the benefits to us is that we have a CRM and we have a project management software in the backend to keep track of all of our clients and to keep track of the entire transaction mm -hmm. within preparing your home for sale, getting it on the market and then getting you to the closing table. So. All right, so we added the back end stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We added the appropriate checklist. Uh, we revisited the comps. Yep. Uh, we shared the comps yep. with the seller. Yep. We have we actually have this cool tool called Collections where it's an active comp report. So the seller is actually always updated on what's on the market and what's being sold within that market. And now the fun part is, is getting a home ready for marketing, yeah. a photo shoot, video shoot. So we just called the seller. He asked us to do a walkthrough of the property to make sure it's photo shoot ready. All right, guys. So we signed a listing for this house behind us. It's a brand new gut renovated two family townhouse in East New York, Brooklyn. The address is 180 Etna Street. We're going to list it at $1,149,000. And the point of this walkthrough today is we're going to make sure it's photo shoot ready. And we're also going to make sure it's video shoot ready. So, we'll see you in a bit. All right guys, so you can see it's not ready yet. So we have gotta get an estimated time of when the house is gonna be ready. In my opinion, I think it only needs a good cleaning. So that could take a day or two. So again, I just have to confirm with the seller. So we'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so today's the day. It's media day, we're taking photos and I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of how we get a property listed to go to market. Let's go. Kendo, so how the property looks? The property looks amazing. Come on in, I'm happy to show you guys. Let's do it. So look at these guys. We have Joe here, we have Gabe here. They're the photographer and videographers. And, and question for the viewers here, right? So the lights are off. Why do you guys shoot with the lights off? Well, sometimes it causes color discoloration on the furniture. Okay. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why we like lights off, especially on nice bright units like this. Okay. Uh, and it also leaves like glare on furniture and around the ceiling. So that's one of the reasons why we prefer no lights, if it's suitable for the listing. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to show you guys the finished product. Let's take a look at the rest of the house. As you can see, compared to the last video or last time we were here, it's ready. It's clean. It's moving ready. It's finally sellable. Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> we're in Gabe's way right now. Okay. So you always have a videographer and a photographer at your listings? Yeah, we do this for all of our listings during our photo shoot magazine ready. Sometimes, unfortunately, we have listings that, you know, like it needs a gut renovation. It doesn't look magazine worthy, but for the most part, we do video on, on every single listing. Nice. I feel like not every agent does that though. I don't think all agents hire a videographer. Why do you think it's important? Well, based on just data from our marketing team at Compass, 
When listings have a video, there's a 90% more click rate. So there's 90% more chance someone's gonna click on your listing and come actually see the listing in person. All right, so we asked Gabe how fast he thinks that property is gonna sell. What about you, Kendall? Um, I believe it's going to sell um, within 30 days. Cool. And what do you like best about the property? The one thing I love best about the property, for first of all, I love the finishes, but the one thing I love about this unit in particular is the duplex basement level. Okay. It's all finished, it's very, very nice. Yeah. And then it also has backyard access, which I think is really amazing yeah. for a lot of people who have kids or families yeah. looking for a little more, more outdoor space. So I, this, it's a lovely home. You know, three bedrooms, three bathrooms here in this duplex here, and then three bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs. It's a winner. It's like, definitely a winner. How many people in Brooklyn actually have a backyard? It's crazy. Especially for this price point. Hey guys, it's Justin Martinez with Compass. I'm so excited today. I'm in Cypress Hills, Brooklyn, and I'm gonna show you my new listing at 180 Edmond Street. It's a brand new gun renovated two family townhouse. Let's take a look. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, so we're almost done here. Joe is taking his last shot of the exterior of the house. And Joe, when do you think these photos are going to be ready? Uh, by tomorrow morning. All right, cool. So that's under, quick. Yeah, under 18 hours. Turn around. <laughs> awesome. So we'll show you guys that soon and can't wait to show you the final product. All right, so we just received the photos less than 24 hours later from the photographers. I'm sitting here with the team. We're going to review 50 shots. I have Manny. Paula, Kendall, Crystal, and the point of this meeting is to pick our best shots, send them over to the photographers, that way they could do the final edits and virtually stage the photos. So these photos are before they're actually edited. So we're gonna send over, we're gonna pick our best shots, send it to the photographers, and then they're gonna do the final edits. These are all the kitchen photos. I like one. That this one I think is pretty good as well. Yeah, this is a, a real contender. I really don't care about showing the washer and dryer unless it's needed. Um, so Crystal mentioned a good point. So for these photos, being that the home is not staged with actual furniture, we're actually going to virtually stage it. So um, the virtual staging is just to show what type of furniture you could put in and basically showcase how much space there is. When do you virtual stage and when do you hire a stager? Um, so for this property, the owner decided that they did not want to stage, but you know, it's up to the owner's uh, discretion. So sometimes owners want to stage it at certain price points. For this one, the developer decided that they did not want to stage it. Oh, oh guys, if you have any questions on our process of how we choose photos, drop a comment below. I'm more than happy to answer. Justin, what do you think about people that are like, I don't need a seller's agent, I'm just going to take a few pictures with my phone and list it? Um, I mean, that's a good question. So, it's at the end of the day, the seller of the house, it's their house. They have the right to do, choose who they want to sell the property, even if they're selling it themselves. But if you want to just look at data, typically FISBOs, which is for sale by owners, they typically end up listing with an agent 60 days after hitting the market. And if they actually are one of the FISBOs that are successful and selling by themselves with, without a seller's agent, they typically sell for 10% below uh, than what they would sell for with an agent. So in my opinion, it's best to invest that three to 6% in listing with an agent because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get four percent more anyway and another thing about fizzbos typically you guys probably you know have a really successful job that's why you own a property probably have a family so do you want to do all of these 50 steps just to get your property on the market probably not so not only would you be making more money you're also saving time valuable time so. and you viewers what do you guys think do you think you should sell by yourself or do you think you should hire an agent? I'm happy to answer those questions too, with data. <laughs> do you have experts by your side vendors? Can you tell me something? So that's also a good question. So that's another benefit with working with us. 
I've been in the business since 2010. Kendall's been in the business for five years. Crystal has been in the business also for around 2010. So because of all of, that's like 25 plus years of experience. Within that time frame, we've all built relationships with stagers, photographers, mortgage brokers, attorneys, title. So we try to make the seamless, the, sorry, we try to make the process as seamless as possible. So when do you think we're gonna get the final photos? <clears throat> uh, we should get the final photos by Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and launch day is Tuesday. Yes. Every Tuesday. So what does it mean Tuesday is launch day? Like you list every Tuesday? Yeah, every Tuesday we, we list our property. Uh, the reason why, um, we don't like to rush the launch. The reason, we have an entire marketing calendar for every listing, which shows clearly what we do day by day to help sell your property in a quicker time frame and for more money. So Tuesday is launch day because it gives us time to gather all of the in, like photos and content. Our content days are the Thursday, our Thursday and Friday. It gives us time to review, make sure the copyright is good, make sure everything is perfect to launch on Tuesday, but it also gives us a chance to let our buyers and broker community know that we're gonna have that open house that following Sunday. So we launch on Tuesday, we're gonna have the first open house Sunday. So it's like when the new iPhone comes out, everyone is lined up outside of the Apple store for many hours. So we wanna do the same thing or we wanna provide that same experience for your property. Um, Justin, why do you believe in a real estate team? Uh, why are you not a solo agent? Why do you have a whole team by your side? Um, that's a good question. I can't do everything by myself. Uh, I just feel in terms of the experience for the client, it just it's more beneficial for the client if you have multiple people working towards the same goal to get that property or get or meet that client's goal more efficiently and effectively. So if I had, imagine that we typically carry on at least 10 listings on the market at, at one point, um, it's impossible for me just to do everything by myself. And if I did everything by myself, one, I probably would not sleep. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be taking care of myself, which will lead me to not serving my client the best way I can. So our vision for all of our clients is to inspire your next move and transform your experience into a simple one. Hey guys, so today is the day. Today is launch day for 180 Etna Street. Mm -hmm. Out of the 50 photos that you guys saw in the last video, we picked 24. And the reason we have 24 photos is because we virtually staged some of the photos from uh, unit one. And so typically we stay around 15 photos, but now we have 24. Um, so we've picked them. These are the final ones that are on the screen. And we just uploaded them to the listing which we'll show you guys in a second. Photos came out really good. Yeah. Really, really good. And you guys saw from the first time we did the walkthrough uh, to the last time we were there for a media day. I mean, the house looks great. And so we're gonna show you how the back end looks. This is, uh, we're gonna go to listing editor. So as you can see, all the photos are uploaded. We have our floor plan. Um, can you go back to the floor plan for a second for me? Thank you. And then we also have our copyright. So the great thing about this copyright description, we actually have a template we use for all types of properties. So for townhouses, we have one template, for condos, we have another template, and for co-ops, we have a different template as well. But we edit each template with the Compass AI tool, um, and it creates a great description for, for each property. So we have the Compass AI tool on the back end. Okay, so last time you sat all together and chose the pictures. And how long does it take to get like the edited pictures um, from your team? So for this property, actually, we got the edited pictures within 24 hours. So we sat down on Friday, 
we got it uh, the next the next set of pictures on a Saturday. However, this project took a little, little bit longer because we added virtual staging. So we actually got the virtually staged photos on a Monday, um, and then today's Tuesday. So we yesterday we went back and forth with the photographer to take out minor details. Like for example, there was a. Uh, a cough, uh, apples on the countertop and we just thought it didn't look good and we said please remove that so like just minor details we want to position every property in its best in the best way possible so so you pay a lot of attention to details yes because we want every property to look whether it's a three hundred thousand dollar property million dollar property five million dollar property ten million dollar property we want every property to look magazine worthy want to give it white glove service regardless of the pricing and regardless of the property. Yeah. Um, another thing we so we showed you guys the photos, we showed you guys the copyright, uh, we, we added our first open houses on the back end. Now let us show you how the listing looks. So we're gonna hit live now, so it's going live. And now we are officially live. One thing, when you say we are going live, um, I have no f idea from real estate, so what does it mean we're going live? So, when uh, going live means the property was just listed. Yeah. Uh, it's the market. Yeah. It's the market, which is really nice. So we're also going, now we're also going live on Street Easy. I will always say that's the one cool thing about New York. Um, there's a lot of different, uh, outside of just the MLS, um, you could use, we post it on our Compass site, we also post it on Street Easy, and our Compass site actually backs it into MLS, which is really cool, so it actually gets a lot more eyes on every, on every site, not just one site specifically, which is really, really good for, you know, the owners and the developers that we work with, or any, uh, any sellers, uh, so we're trying to get you the most eyes as possible, so it's really nice. And then, so it, so besides Street Easy, it also goes live on our website, Martinez Team website. It's martinezteam.com. Sorry, martinez-team.com. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let us show, so that's how it looks on our website. I mean, this property looks amazing. Really good. Virtual staging came out really good as well. Yeah, let, This is one of the benefits of Compass Marketing. This is a show sheet that we produce on the back end of Compass. So we have some info about the property, info about the neighborhood, floor plan. Um, so just in talking about Compass, I heard of this feature called uh, Compass Private Exclusive. When do you list something exclusively? Like, can you tell me something about the feature and just in general? Yeah, that's a good question. So, like I mentioned in the last video, so when a, when the iPhone comes out, Apple had like they tell you the launch date. It's in like in two weeks, and then they have people lined up at the Fifth Avenue store or any store for that matter. So we want to do the same thing for their property. So once we sign exclusive, we actually put it. We uh, mark it as a private exclusive on Compass, and then we send that private exclusive out to buyer agents that within Compass, and also to our own personal buyers. That way, we can have a waiting list for the first open house. It almost gives it like an exclusivity. You know, you're the first to know, and it's always cool to be the first, the first person to have the new phone, or the first person to see the new new property, or the first person to you know, be able to do anything. So I think it's really amazing that Compass has that added to their system because it really allows us to really give a nice guidance to our clients and show them that you know, we're really working hard on our project. So. And, and one last thing that we add to each listing, uh, we also add um, a mortgage rate sheet. Mm -hmm. So this gives the buyer some info about how much they need to put down, how much their monthly payment would be with different loan options. So that's on the screen here. So you have different banks that you work yeah, with? Yeah, correct.
launch, so we're we're going from coming uh, soon sale to now uh, on the market checklist. Um, me as a seller, I'm a bit scared. It sounds like a lot, um, but I actually want to list very soon. So, how does the whole process is going to take me? Like, when if I let's say I want to get rid of my home in six weeks, when do I have to contact you? So that that's a good question. So typically, it takes us if you want to if you want to get on the market in six weeks. I mean, that's a reasonable time frame for us. It only takes us two weeks uh, from the day we signed the listing agreement to, to go down the market. Sometimes it takes uh, a few more weeks on special case scenarios, like if a seller needs to do some work to the apartment, like maybe some painting or they need to fix some fix in the, like a bathroom or something like that. It might take a little bit longer in that aspect or even a developer. Uh, you saw when we did the initial walkthrough, <laughs> there's still appliances that needed to be installed. Yeah. The property needed to be fresh and clean. The basement needed to be finished. So in that aspect, it took us, uh, you know, two more months or actually six or six weeks mm -hmm. to get the property ready to list. So uh, for us, we, we provide a marketing calendar to every seller. Uh, but our launch time frame from the day we signed the listing to launch day is two weeks. Um, another good thing to notice, uh, I know this, there is, it is a lot to get your property on the market. We're basically professional uh, project managers. So as you saw, just to go on the market, there's 50 tasks that you mm -hmm. need to do. And when you're on the market, after being on the market, after open houses, you know, we do follow-ups, we touch base with buyers like, you know, every, like twice a week. And there's so many other tasks of like when you're actually on the market and then being in contract to close. But you as the team take care of this, right? Yes, yes. yeah. So, so sellers, drop a comment below if you think it's worth paying a 6% fee for an agent to sell your home in a quicker time frame. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to this channel. We're gonna drop a video every week like this video so the algorithm picks it up and comment below if any questions you might have or any videos you wanna see. Peace, guys.